This is the Foscam FHC994 uh, HD mini video camera and DVR. Uh, included here with the camera, this is the little camera itself here. They provide uh, a wall power adapter, uh, a USB cable, a CD that's got uh, various instructions and software on it, and the instructions themselves. Uh, it also comes with a 4 gigabyte micro SD card, which I already have in the camera. It's capable of up to 64 gigabytes as well. You know, I, I was fairly intrigued with this, as this is the first little small camera like this that I've reviewed that has its own kind of built-in uh, little recording device built into it uh, uh, in this small of a size. Uh, one of the first things I always do with these kinds of things is I check for firmware updates and that leads me to my uh, one of my initial complaints with this camera. Uh, I do not like the method of how they do the firmware installations. For one, instead of just doing the standard way that you normally would do this, uh, and I'll try to bring this up close, there's a little pinhole here, uh, one for resetting the camera and one for doing the firmware upgrade that you have to push uh, while you're doing the firmware upgrade. It seems a bit cumbersome to me. I don't like that. Uh, I think they're making it more complicated than it needs to be for a firmware upgrade. Uh, also, the website uh, for the firmware uh, also appears out of date uh, and has an older version of the firmware than what the camera that I have here with me comes with. Um, Size-wise, this is the smallest camera I've ever used uh, and reviewed, uh, and I think this is a good little camera for, for those times when you want to monitor an area where you don't want a camera to be obvious, such as a nanny cam or something like that. Uh, that being said, though, this camera this small has its drawbacks. Uh, the camera itself is fairly simple to use. Um, there's a On the side here, there's a power button here. You hold that in for two seconds to activate um, a little green LED that flashes green when it's recording. And then this has a three selector button here that you can select for three different modes that the camera automatically has, uh, which is uh, basically a uh, surveillance mode, like on the go kind of mode, which is kind of like a dash cam. And then you can customize mode with the software that you can download for your computer and do various things such as set it for motion activation, uh, vibration activation, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, being small it is, as it is, there's no like little monitor on the back here to kind of detect, to tell you where, what, where you've got this orientated so you, it's really difficult to kind of tell uh, until you test it and download the video to see where the camera is pointing and you also have to be careful with this to, to orient the, the lens it does rotate here uh, and the body of the camera in the proper direction because uh, if you don't you end up finding yourself that you recorded it upside down which is what happened to me um, uh, I think the software with the computer uh, that came with for the computer uh, could be a little more user friendly. Uh, there's some additional customizing features. It's not always, it's not really clear how to get to that. And I think that could be a little bit uh, more user friendly uh, and, and a little less basic. Uh, let me put it that way. Uh, but the program itself has uh, features to set the date and time of the camera, the various customized usage settings. And to be able to use those customized usage settings, you have to have the camera selector on customized here uh, to do the other various options that it has. And then you have the options to, to select express settings versus customized settings, which one of the things I have as an issue with this software is that that's a little hidden and you kind of have to dig to find that. Uh, battery life of this is pretty good. It has about eight hours and a pretty long standby time. Uh, but you can also use the a wall adapter here for unlimited time uh, so you don't use the batteries. Uh, again, you basically use this by putting the SD card, which goes in right here. Let me show you that up close. Um, 
and press the on button for a couple seconds and it starts basically recording. Um, I, I, I primarily tested this out in custom mode uh, because I like the ability to select the motion and vibration detect um, as well. Uh, again, the camera lens rotates about 180 degrees. Um, for for me, though, the quality of the video in daylight is okay, but I found it to be a bit grainy as compared to other small surveillance cam. And low light is adequate, but really could use some improvement in that area. Uh, me personally, I could never get the audio to rec record no matter what options I selected. And yes, I did select mic enabled. Uh, I don't know if there was an issue with the camera or whether I was doing something wrong, but I couldn't get the audio to work. Um, you know, to see what the, what you've recorded, you can plug the camera into the computer with the USB cord or use a card reader for the uh, SD card. The files are saved under a DVR directory, and then you can either view them from there or copy them off, which is what I did. Overall, I, for a small surveillance cam that you can hide, it, it'll be okay for that. But I do think the image quality is grainy. I never could get the audio to work properly on this. Uh, I also don't like the way the firmware upgrades work for this. Uh, and I also think that the camera is a bit expensive at the current $90 it costs. I give this camera three stars.